Hey, what's up, peoples? Um, I'm just chilling here, you know, in uh, in my bath. Uh, yeah, you know what it is. Um, so, as you probably tell, maybe I don't know. This is video response to D Fizzy's uh, phone video about how he's explaining how he can't trust anyone because of his past and everything that's happened. And this is a video response saying my past and everything and all that. And by the way. It looks like I've been crying or I'm stoned or something. I'm not. I didn't go to sleep till 5 a.m. and I woke up at uh, 8 a.m. <laughs> so I'm really tired right now. But I'll probably nap this afternoon until like midnight and then wake up and be wide awake. <laughs> you know what it is. So basically, um, my past, um, in my past, I've had a lot of friends screw me over, basically. Um, First off, when I was a kid, obviously it was fine, but first of all, um, when I was a kid, uh, no, when I was about 13 years old, um, I didn't have any friends in school, I just, uh, it was maybe a year after I started secondary school, and I didn't have any friends, and everyone hated me because of the way I looked, you know, they were back then, just like, oh, you look funny, I'm not going to be friends with you, you've got ginger hair. Uh. <laughs> But, you know, so I didn't really have anyone to talk to, and I was lonely, and, you know, I kept to myself, mainly, as well, that was an, another reason, but, um, and I had this girl, Hannah, um, I was in, um, I was just deciding, you know, I walk past this classroom every day, every lunchtime, and there's, like, all these kids just chilling in there and having a good time, and they're just playing games and stuff, and I thought, these look like my kind of people, <laughs> so I thought maybe I'd go in there, maybe make some friends. And I sat down on this table that, that was like full in there, there was only one table that was free, it had one girl on it. And she was there listening to music and singing and I was thinking, and uh, everyone was saying, oh my god, that's Drake Bell, you're listening to Drake Bell. And everyone in the classroom was like, ooh, I don't like him. And I was, I actually liked Drake Bell, so I was like, started talking to her, I was like, oh hey, Drake Bell's pretty cool, you know, I like his music. And then we, oh this is really awkward. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting in the bath, but then, then we became like, like best friends basically you know we were like really close but then she a few times she just after she she didn't <laughs> she made some new friends after a while because she said she didn't have any friends either she was like lonely in school and everyone hated her because of her music taste and the way she dressed and all that but she didn't really have neither of us had much money to buy new clothes so we were all looking scruffy and everyone was like oh you look scruffy you're a tramp and all this and because we didn't have any money for clothes well we had money but we didn't really get it for clothes we bought food and stuff obviously well our parents then back then <laughs> you know, rely on our parents when you're 13 <laughs> So yeah, we became best friends, and we were really, really close, we were like crazy together and always having crazy laughs and always fun. And um, then she made, met some new friends, and she was still my friend, she was like still close, but then she decided, oh, by the way, I don't like you. Just because she made some new friends, she was like, oh. I'm just going to go with them now and leave you out all the time. She didn't say that, obviously. She was just doing it. And she was like, uh, one of her, one of those friends in that group was actually a close friend of mine too because I made friends with some of them, but the others were just mean. <laughs> this one girl was really nice. And she, um, she actually told me that this other girl that I made friends with was uh, saying... To, this was like a few years later, actually. We were friends for like a year and then all this happened. She said that this other girl was just bitching about me behind my back to these guys and, and it was like, oh hey Livy, um, do you want to meet up tonight? I think we could go to the cinema or something. And I was like, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe. So, or in town, and we were in town, or I was in town, waiting for her to show up. And she never did. And then on MSN, I asked her and she was online, but she ignored me the whole time. And she kept doing that. Every time she kept saying, oh I want to meet up tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, she wouldn't be there. The next day, uh, that day, and then that night when I tried talking to her on MSN, she would ignore me. It always happened. And then I just thought, screw it, I'm not going to be her friend anymore. Bye! <laughs> and uh, then in college, it kept happening. I just didn't have any more friends again in school, and then, you know, I was just depressed again and everything. And then in college, um, I met these new people, and I was like, oh, they're cool, they're cool, they're cool, and this guy. This one guy was like became my new best friend and he was like really close with me again, like the way Hannah was. 
And then he ends up doing the same stuff. Like, oh, we should meet up. And then, oh, whoa, I'm not there. Oh. And it really just upset me. That I was just going, what's going on? Why, do, why am I the one who keeps getting the friends who do this to me? And then, you know, I found out he was actually doing drugs and getting drunk all every night. And I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't be friends with this guy anyways. But, you know, it just kept happening and happening with all my other friends. Like, they would always ditch me. And then I found it, like you, Damon, I found it really, really hard to trust people now. Because, you know, all that stuff that's happened. Not quite as bad as what's happened to you, obviously. I mean, getting cheated on. Mm, not good, but... At least you have like 500,000 viewers who are like, that's pretty cool, that's pretty majestic skis. <laughs> but then in 2009, um, a lot of stuff happened back then and your videos got me through everything. And I actually met, I boosted my confidence a bit and I was like, oh, I should stop worrying and all this. And I stopped worrying a little. And then I met these new friends who I'm still like best friends with today. Natalie and Connor, I will mention them because they are amazing. And they're really cool, and they've never let me down, ever. They always show up when we meet up, and they're just, they they understand my past and everything I've been through, and they, they know that, uh, this tap is annoying me. Do you mind? It is broken. <laughs> they understand what happened with Hannah, because we actually invited her, she's like, I talk to her still now, but we actually invited her to come uptown with us one day, and she didn't show, obviously. <laughs> so that was stupid, but... You know, they're really cool, they're friends, Connor and Natalie, they're always there for me and they're like the best friends ever. I mean, you know, my problem is though that whenever, you know, because of what's happened, whenever I make new friends, I'm always like clinging onto them all the time and like, oh, I don't want to lose them because they're really good friends. And then I end up probably going to lose some of my friends, so, oh, this phone, this video is getting pretty long. But, you know, what I've learned is, I don't know if you're like this, but what I've learned is don't like cling on to them and don't keep saying, oh, you're not going to show up where we meet, you're not going to be there, you're not going to be there, you're not going to be there, blah blah blah. Don't do that because that's what drives them crazy and drives them away. So that's one thing that you could, if, I don't know if you do it, but try not to, like, I don't know, just say like, oh, you're not going to meet up, just think for a second. Just stop and think like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that, I'll just be like, oh, okay, yeah, we're going to meet up, and if they don't show up, then maybe I won't talk to them, or if they do show up, then that's cool, they're good friends. So that's basically it, really. That's kind of what happens to me. Like, I'm the same. I have trust issues now, and I drive all my friends away, mainly, and I've oh, got good friends now. I've made so many good friends in the Fizzy family, and out in college and stuff, and they're always there, and it's great now, so just don't, like, keep thinking, oh, they're not going to show up. Don't worry yourself, that's the main thing. Don't, like, think, oh, I'm gonna, it's going to be the same. It's all going to be the same, but it's not. It's not going to be the same, because there are good people out there, obviously. There's, like, great people out there, in fact. There's not, every, not everyone's going to be like it, okay? So, I'm just going to finish this video now and carry on chilling with my hot and cold buddies right there, Phil. And Lil. Hey Phil and Lil. Hey, do you guys remember the regrets? <laughs> awesome. Oh, one other thing. I remembered in yesterday's vlog, I was actually filming and I said, oh, I'm going to shout out to that pylon right there. And when I turned the camera around like that, the sun was like shining right bright. So you couldn't actually see the pylon at all. You could just see a big white sky. <laughs> you couldn't see the pylon at all. So that was stupid. I just thought of putting that out. So I'm going to go and play The Sims now. This video is nearly nine minutes long. Surprised my phone hasn't cut off saying I haven't got enough memory left. <laughs> So yeah, Damon, just chin up and don't don't think about it. Don't worry. Don't like say like, oh, they're not gonna meet up with me. And don't say it to them. And don't cling on to them like, oh, I don't want to lose you. You probably don't do that, but I do for some reason. And I want to stop because it's really annoying me. <laughs> I'm probably done. Okay, so peace out. I hope this video helps. It probably didn't because it's just me talking randomly. Peace.